So we will be working through her to do some things. We're going to introduce ourselves real quick. So I'm Miss Denise. I'm Miss Annette. I'm Miss Toby. And then I'm Miss Olivia. So we are so glad to have you with us today. So is everybody ready to sing our, our story time song? Okay, here we go. Let's all sing along. If you're ready for a story, come sit down. If you're ready for a story, come sit down. Let's all gather near so everyone can hear. If you're ready for a story, come sit down. Yay! Well, we're so happy again to have you with us today. We are actually going to be talking about American folk heroes. And these are stories that have been passed down through the years of people who were living in America. And they might have been based on real people, but some of them are real people who really lived and did the things that they the stories say they did. And some of them were just made up. Like one person would do something great and another person would do something great. And they put that all together in a story that they shared and came up with a whole new story. So it's called fiction because it's not real. It's called fiction. So Miss Annette, you ready to tell us some more? Well, yes. Um, we are going to start out with a character um, uh, by the name of Casey Jones, and we're going to share mm -hmm. his story with you. And after that, you can tell us whether you think he's real or he's fiction. So there's a picture of Casey Jones. And this was taken back in about mm, the 1860s, which is around 150 years ago. So all of the pictures that they made at that time were not in color. They were in black and white or brown and white would come out of the camera. So this is what Casey Jones, this is an actual picture of what he looked like during that time. So we're going to share, share the story of Casey Jones with you. All right. I'm Casey Jones, the engineer. In songs and stories, I appear. I drove a train, and you may recall. I'm his engine, Cannibal. You and I were quite a pair. No train went faster anywhere. Not a hill we couldn't climb, and we were always right on time. You and I, we sure had fun. Each time we took the Memphis run. Rolling down to New Orleans. Yep, we sure were full of beans. I'd pull my train load back and forth, heading south, then heading north, and everything was mighty fine as we spent speeding down the line. One April day we had to wait. We started off two hours late. But since the day was clear and bright, and since our load was pretty light, I thought before this day is done, I bet we'll have a record run. Oh, we left the station, picked up speed, full throttle now, we both agreed. I huffed and puffed, began to climb. I knew we could make up the time. We reached the mountaintop at last. It's downhill now, we're going fast. Five minutes late, a bit behind. We'll make it up, so never mind. Let's go full speed ahead, I call. We'll break the record, cannonball. But something's wrong, we hear a crack. Another train is on the track. Casey breaks. We see a flash. He slows me down, but too late. We crash. Casey's brakes saved his crew. It saved his many riders, too. But Casey Jones, he stayed inside. He wouldn't jump, and so he died. We were the greatest team of all, Casey Jones and Cannonball. And year by year, our legend grew. You read to me, I'll read to you. And who is that um, by, and who is our publisher, Miss Annette? Okay, it <laughs> is by uh, Mary Ann Hoberman, and it's illustrated by Michael Emery. We have these books in the library, and you can also find them on Hoopla. And they are uh, presented to us by Megan Tinsley Books of Little Brown and Company from New York. Yay, what a fun, fun story. All right, so 
Okay, so what we know really about um, Casey Jones is that his real name was Jonathan Luther Jones, and he was born in 1863. And when the Cannonball Express wrecked, when he was trying to save all of the passengers on it, he was uh, 37 years old. One thing that we do know about him is that he never liked being late, even when he was a child. And there were some people that would set their watches by him when, they would, when he would go by because he was so accurate and he was so on time. So those are the things that we know about Casey Jones. So do you all think he's a real person or a make-believe person? So give us a thumbs up if you think he's real. Mm -hmm. And a thumbs down if you think he's make-believe. So do you think the story is about a real person or a make-believe person? I see a make-believe from I see, Maggie. I see two make-believes. Yeah. Um, but, Casey, uh, uh, but Casey Jones is a real person. He was a real engineer, someone who drives a train. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we have a song that Miss Toby is going to share with us. This is a silly song. I hope you guys like it. Um, and if you guys will sing along with me um, at home. So we're going to do a bunch of different things. But um, I'll start and then you guys can sing along when you get the tune, okay? Can you I show us what we're doing for each one? Oh, yeah. Oh, there are no... There aren't notions for this okay. one. Okay. Yeah. I thought there were. Sorry. <laughs> no. Sorry. Sorry. Um, we're just the toot toot for the train. Can you do your train whistle? Toot toot. <laughs> all right. Yes. A peanut sat on a railroad track. His heart was all a flutter. Around the bend came a choo choo train. Toot toot. Peanut butter. <gasps> a grape sat on a railroad track. What do you think's gonna happen to him? What do you think's gonna happen mm -hmm. to a grape? All right, so let's find out. A grape sat on a railroad track. He had a purple belly. Around the bend came a choo-choo train. Toot toot, grape jelly. Oh right. my. Now we have an apple? All right, an apple sat on a railroad track thinking he was the boss. Around the bend came a choo-choo train. Toot toot, applesauce. Oh. Oh. <laughs> and we have an avocado now. Do you know what an avocado is? It's that green thing in your kitchen. It has a, has a pit in it. Maybe sometimes you spread it on bread or have it on a salad. All right. An avocado sat on a railroad track, feeling somewhat holy. Around the bin came a choo-choo train. Toot toot, guacamole. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. All right, we're back around to that peanut. Can you guys do the toot toot with me this time? Can I see your, can I see your train? Toot toot. All right. Good. Peanut sat on a railroad track. His heart was all a flutter. Around the bin came a choo choo train. Toot toot. Peanut butter. It's oh my. It's what a, a fun, song. fun, fun story. Yes. <laughs> and the, the thing we always remind everybody we sing songs about putting things on the railroad tracks, but we never play on railroad tracks. No. Because railroad tracks and trains can be dangerous. So we don't play on railroad tracks, right? All right. Can I get a thumbs up if we know not to play on railroad tracks? Yes, very good. Not a railroad track. Mm -hmm. We look at trains from a distance, right? Mm -hmm. So very, very good. So I'm actually going to read a second book, but it's mm -hmm. kind of a sing song kind of song. Does anybody know the Muffin Man? Yes, I am the Muffin Man, the Muffin Man, the Muffin Man. Yes, I am the Muffin Man. <gasps> yes. Do you so, know the Muffin Man, the Muffin Man, the Muffin Man? Do you know the Muffin Man lives on Jerry Lane? <laughs> yeah, I got, I got the other song in my head. I knew I was going to do that. <laughs> so that's the Muffin Man song, though, but it's to Johnny Appleseed. All right. So, and Annette's going to tell you a little bit about Johnny Appleseed. Yes, Miss Toby put up a picture of Johnny Appleseed. And again, this has a little bit of color in it because we took 
this picture from a book that was printed a lot earlier than when you think he might have been living. So, um, but if you want to look at him, um, we will talk uh, a little bit. But before I talk to you about it, I have to put on my hat. Do you think I match his right there? Ooh, yes. Okay. So we know that he was born in 1774 and he went by the name of John Chapman. He planted apple seeds in Pennsylvania, Ohio, Illinois, and Indiana. And at the time that he was alive, that was considered the Wild West and there weren't many people that lived there. So he planted these apples, but they aren't the eating apples that we know right now, but they were apples that you grew, that you made apple pies, you made applesauce, you made apple butter that you could put on your toast and bread. He wore a tin cooking hat on his head and it was made of tin and he wore it on his head because it was easier to carry it that way. And his clothes were torn and most of the time he was barefooted. Mm -hmm. So Miss Denise is going to sh share with you the story of Johnny Appleseed. Mm -hmm. So here we go. It's all about Johnny Appleseed. Are we ready? Can you guys sing along? Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. And it's by Anastasia Suen. It's illustrated That's by right. Ed Mayer. And it comes to us from Rourke Educational Media. Thank you, Toby. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go. Oh, do you know the Apple Man, the Apple Man, the Apple Man? Do you know the Apple Man, Johnny Appleseed? <gasps> He carried seeds across this land, across this land, across this land. Carried seeds across this land, Johnny Appleseed. He sailed the rivers across this land, across this land, across this land. He sailed the rivers across this land, Johnny Appleseed. He walked in the woods across this land, across this land, across this land. He walked in the woods across this land, Johnny Appleseed. See his tin hat in the picture? Mm -hmm. There he goes. He planted seeds across this land, across this land, across this land. He planted seeds across this land, Johnny Appleseed. He cared for his trees across this land, across this land, across this land. He cared for his trees across this land, Johnny Appleseed. He shared his trees across this land, across this land, across this land. He shared his trees across this land, Johnny Appleseed. His apples grew across this land, across this land, across this land. His apples grew across this land, Johnny Appleseed. We eat apples across this land, across this land, across this land. We eat apples across this land, thanks to Johnny Appleseed. Yay! Yay. So that's a fun way to tell a story, is you can sing a story, mm -hmm. right? So that you saw all the pictures, all the things that Miss Annette talked about with him wearing his hat and going barefoot and wearing torn clothes sometimes. But remember, he was a real person. He was a nonfiction. He's made facts, right? Made out of facts. So Johnny Appleseed was real. And so was Casey Jones. So what does anybody remember what Casey Jones was driving in the story? Remember, we did toot toot. What was he driving? A train, right? He was driving a train. Look at what Miss Annette has. <gasps> She's going to show you how she made her very own train that you can make from things around your house. Mm -hmm. Yes, in our crafts album, we, we will have these for you. And last week, if you remember, I asked you to bring a toilet paper roll. And this is what we were going to talk about. And so I cut the paper to... Uh, toilet paper roll into small parts and I made the wheels on this train. Then also I did a different type of a train here and it'll be easier to see in the craft album but this but I made the engine and I made the coal car and I made the caboose and I used paper towel and uh, toilet paper rolls 
and I use the lids off of water and soda. And then I cook them together with uh, pipe cleaners. So you'll be able to see these on our craft page. Actually, here's a picture that you'll see. Hold on, I've got a bigger, I can share the picture of them. Let me do that real quick. I just was letting you talk through That's them okay. first. Um, well, maybe you can do it, Johnny Appleseed. All right, so here's our simple train. So on the craft yes. page, you'll see this one to cut out. And then um, you'll be able to add paper rolls to it. And then this is the one Miss Annette was showing you. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yep, so you can make your very own train and you can pretend with your train that Casey Jones is driving, what was the train's name? Cannonball. Cannonball, yes. yes. Very, very, very fun. <laughs> so you'll make use of those. I see Miss Maggie has her paper towel roll to make her crafts today. So mm -hmm. very good. Very, very good. So, so Miss Annette, we're supposed to be in finish for this week. We've talked yes. about heroes and folk legends, right? Mm -hmm. So Miss Annette's going to show you a couple of things to show you what we're going to be doing next time. Okay, mm -hmm. Miss right. Annette. So, oh, the other way. <laughs> <laughs> Taco shells mm. and rocks. <gasps> taco shells and rocks. Oh, what in the world are we going to make from taco shells and rocks? <gasps> You're just gonna have you to will have to come yes. back. <laughs> you will not believe what we're going to be doing with the yeah. taco shells. It's going to be so much fun as always. Well, we had such a good time seeing you both today. We're glad you came to join us. So we're going to finish out and talk a little bit about our closing info. Secret, our I'm including giving code. Okay. password right so we have our <laughs> secret code for this week so toby all right so our secret code for this week we talked about heroes folk heroes so our secret code for this week is land of heroes in all capital letters so make sure your adult hears that land of heroes all together one word all capital letters for your secret code this week okay and i'm yes. going to send it to the chat so that people can copy and paste it if they need to but just right. make sure your adult heard land of heroes <laughs> yes and when you put that in in your reading logs you get another ticket for the wall of prizes mm -hmm. since you were in the program today so make sure you put your secret code in yes. so we're going to finish off today by singing our goodbye song so is everybody ready to sing along okay here we go the more we read together 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 the more we read together, the happier we'll be. For your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. The more we read together, the happier we'll be. Yay! And we all know we can't end a program without doing a library cheer. So is everybody ready to count with us and do the loudest library cheer ever? You guys ready? Okay. Sure you unmute go. yep. Yeah, they got they got to unmute. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so Ste Miss Stella, you want to turn your microphone on? I'll, uh Maggie's is on. Miss Stella. Yep. There you go, Miss Stella. Yeah. So, <laughs> is everybody ready? Here we go. Oh, One. Yeah. Two. Three. Two. Three. 